All right. All right. So what we're looking for when we're identifying body muscles is all these lines that we have. All right. So the most dorsal, mid dorsal line right here. If you locate that and then look lateral to the mid dorsal line, these muscles are called the dorsalis trunci. Thank you. I'm having a little trouble today. So the dorsalis trunci are right here. If we flip the salamander over to the ventral side, there's the line running through the ventral midline, which is the linea alba. And the muscles just lateral to the linea, linea alba are called the rectus abdominis muscles. If you look on the side of the salamander and you find the horizontal septum here, the muscles that are just ventral to the horizontal septum are called um, your oblique muscles. When you make a little window in the side of your salamander, you'll see that there are three layers of oblique muscles. The topmost layer is called the external oblique. And then somebody chewed on my salamander. The mm. middle layer right here is the internal oblique and the ones that form the muscles that form the body wall the deepest muscles are called the ra uh, rectus abdom no no transit versus abdominis so i was under anesthesia last week and i still haven't gotten over it so <laughs> okay so the way to recognize these is that the muscle fibers run in certain ways external oblique will be on the diagonal internal oblique will be horizontal and your rectus abdominis are clearly vertical okay traveling to the head region you're going to notice there are two strips of muscle they are pretty big here those are your adductor mandibuli anterior and these C-shaped muscles here are the adductor mandibuli externus. On the side, you'll see this big cheek muscle right here. This is called the branchiohyoideus. Okay, adductor mandibuli anterior, adductor mandibuli externus, branchiohyoideus. Flipping the salamander over. Okay. Sorry, I have to put this puzzle back together. I don't know what's wrong with it. Okay, so there are there are very thin layers of muscle that are covering the deep um, lower jaw muscles, and if you look for the edges of the mouth, creases of the mouth there, you'll see that there's one strip of muscle that runs from here to here between the mandibular bones, that's called the intermandibularis. Now just posterior to where the crease of the mouth is and where this big bulbous muscle starts, there's a second strip of muscle called the interhyoideus. Running from the gular fold, which was down here on my salamander, and then up to this area where the branchiohyoideus starts to emerge, we call that the sphincter coli. Okay, so what you need to do is you have to cut through these layers and they're really thin. See how thin they are? They're really thin. And if you peel those layers back, if you peel them away, you'll notice that there are several muscle groups underneath. The first two that run from the tip of the chin to the chest area right here, those are called your geniohyoideus muscles. These big bulbous muscles right here are actually the branchiohyoideus. So if I were to pin right here and right here, they would be the same thing, okay? I always do that, <laughs> so just so you know. If you look on the neck part of the salamander, you'll see that its muscles are running in um, like the heads of arrows. They look like chevrons. Um, and those are called the rectus cervicis muscles. And the big straps of muscle that run along the sides of the neck, those are the prochoricohumeralis muscles. And just medial to that, there's a little strip of muscle right here. Oh, okay. Okay, that's the omarcule. Okay, rectus cervicis. 
omarcule Procorico humoralis. Okay, um, let's take a look at the, do you have a question? No, I'm just following. Can you lose your shoe? Just for the video. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to look for on the side of the salamander by the gill is a set of dorsal muscles that um, run just dorsal to where the, Gill. the gills were. And so they run in a fan, they're like this. Okay, and then you're going to see another group of muscles that's just posterior and kind of ventral to where the gills are connected that runs in a fan like shape too. So these ones that are dorsal to the gills, you can see them right here. Those are the levator's arcuum, okay? Levator's arcuum, and then you'll see at the end there's a kind of a bigger singular muscle right here, and that's called the dilator laryngeus, okay? So levator's arcuum, dilator laryngeus. So the next thing you want to do is look at these muscles that are posterior or and ventral to where the gills are. And what you're going to notice is that there are two strips of muscle. There's this anterior one right here. That's called the pectoris scapularis. The second one here is the cupularis. Very good, Matt. And this muscle here covers the scapula. That's the dorsalis scapulae. When you kind of extend the arm out, you can see that there's a, a, another flap of muscle right here. That's the latissimus dorsi, okay? So you have your pectoris scapularis, cucularis, dorsalis scapulae, latissimus dorsi, okay? Easy enough? Mm -hmm. Leg, mm, not delicious. easy. Okay, so what we wanna look for first are the muscles on the body wall and then the muscles on the leg, okay? And the first thing I want to look for is this triangle right here. This triangle right here forms the pubo ischio femoralis externus. Next, what you want to do is you want to look kind of on your leg, but where the leg kind of meets the body, you'll see this muscle right here that runs deep in the middle of those two leg muscles. This muscle that runs deep right here is the ischio femoralis. Okay. There's a third muscle that runs here from the mid-dorsal body wall area all the way out to the leg. Okay, So it runs all the way from here to here. This is called your pubo ischio tibialis. All right. So on the body wall you have your pubo ischio femoralis externus. The muscle that runs deep here from the body wall in between these two muscles is called the ischio femoralis. From the midline of the body all the way out to the leg is the pubo ischio tibialis. Now on the leg there are four strips of muscle that you'll see. You'll see a very anterior one that would be like your, your quadriceps muscle. This is called the pubo ischio femoralis internus. Then there's a little strip of muscle right here. This is the pubo tibialis. The third muscle you're going to see is the one that we found that runs from the body midline all the way out to the leg. That's the pubo ischio tibialis. And then this most posterior muscle on the leg, which forms kind of like the hamstring, that's your ischio flexorius. Okay, so pubo ischio femoralis internus, pubo tibialis, pubo ischio tibialis, ischio flexorius. Okay. How do you pin those? Oh, I find a way. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. There you are. Pubo All right. Let's do some arteries and veins, shall we? Okay. Sure.